a few days ago I have showed uh, two circuits with which you can make an audio preamplifier. Microphone amplifier, that's what I mean. And it works on 3 volts. I've showed the schematics, etc, etc. Uh, but perhaps it's in interesting also to show how I made it in practice. Not only the schematic, so also say the real things. Uh, here is that capsule again. Uh, I, it, it has now the name EMI63MP, but in general all these capsules look a little bit the same. There's one uh, electrode that must be connected to the minus, the mass. Here is the electrode uh, out of which we take the audio signal via a capacitor here. This capacitor can be of values in the order of uh, uh, 50 nanofarad up to 100 nanofarad. And at the same time that this point here is supplied with a voltage. And that's often in the order of 1.5 up to 2 volts or 3 volts. That depends, of course. Uh, look at the data sheet. I write here 10 volts. Uh, that's of course possible, but in that case that, that resistor must be high enough so that we have here on this electrode the, the, the voltage that the data sheet gives. And that's often 2 volts. Anyway, um, I made a few photographs. And this is one of them. Say it shows the circuit in the more or less end stage. You see here the two batteries. They are alkaline batteries. And here are the three transistors. This is the Darlington, the end Darlington that drives the headphone and the pre uh, amplifier, the first transistor. I've used the BC547B and I got a command that you can also use an other transistor with a higher uh, amplification factor. That's completely true, but uh, in that case, uh, do many experiments here to get that uh, transistor with a high amplification factor. For instance, the BC549C. I got that comment from Alberto, Albertos, uh, and it's true, but um, I did not use that uh, transistor by purpose because the amplification factor of that transistor is extremely high, but on the other hand that can have a very good effect when you can tame that transistor, that first transistor that is connected to the microphone. And when you can tame it, um, uh, it could work somewhat better, and especially uh, when we are talking about the noise figure. Anyway, the noise is perhaps perhaps interesting to tell, set of course by the properties of the first transistor in such a circuit, but also by the base current. So try to get the base current as uh, ha, as low as possible while the circuit works. Anyway, works properly. Uh, a too low base current of course has the effect that the transistor cannot work. Here's the circuit how it was made. Um, triplex wood, multiplex wood, perhaps that's the right word for it. Uh, soft wood, pine wood and uh, there's something new in this setup. Uh, in general I drive the uh, say uh, the brass nails into the wood but now I have driven the brass nails from the back side to the upper side and you can see it here. And that wood is uh, at first lacquered with glue for sewage pipes smell acetone it gives that wood very good isolating properties. 
and here the circuit again. Well, let let we look. Let's look how it is in real, and it's on my my workbench here. The headphone connected to it. Here is the box where it's all about. Take off the lid and here you see how it was made. Um, like I told, with that soft triplex plate, lacquered, etc. etc. with the brass pinch pins uh, pushed from the back side to the upper side and uh, they are all pinched off with the, with the help of the pliers and the good thing is that you can make such a circuit very very low so that all the components are pushed not pushed of course but they are on the low uh, position compared to the the board uh, that's of course logical because this is also has also say a certain uh, diameter and uh, we cannot make this box too high by the way it is this circuit that I've made here it was also in the earlier schematic uh, video I used it because its noise level was low low or lower compared to the other schematic in the earlier video I, I will give the link in the description and well you see all the components the thousand microfarad capacitor it's here the Darlington is here that drives the headphone uh, perhaps interesting to tell that I also have made a LED indicator that the circuit is on here. So perhaps it is visible. Of course, when you have a circuit that works on 3 volts, uh, you have to be, to be say, uh, 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 in a certain way, you have to spare the energy out of these batteries. They will be depleted perhaps in two days, four days, that, that depends of course on uh, how many times you will use this uh, pre-amplifier. And um, I needed of course a LED and I found, I ordered in Ali, via Ali, these LEDs and I found out that they even light up on a tiny, tiny voltage. That also means that they can easily burn out when the voltage gets too high but uh, this is say a kind of example here that such a LED and that's in my ID peculiar work, even works lights up with a 12k resistor connected to 3 volts here and I had not expected that, etc, etc, but here I've ordered quite a few of them. They are the transparent LEDs here. They all, they all uh, light up red. Anyway, schematic again for a moment. It was already earlier showed. Uh, the microphone capsule is here. In the, now in the middle of the screen and of course it has to pick up the sounds and this is say the front. I've isolated it with a piece of rubber uh, and then I mean mechanically, mechanical isolated. But uh, be aware of the fact that this type of rubber is from a bicycle inner tire conducts electricity and that means um, that this rubber may not get into contact with the electronic circuit and of course I've not done that here but in the very very past I once made a preamplifier and uh, used 
bicycle river um, to isolate it from the chassis and it didn't work. So that's a kind of hard lesson. But anyway, you can use it in this case. And the reason is that that rubber contains soot. And soot is carbon. And carbon, uh, carbon of course, conducts electricity anyway. So that was a kind of side pass in this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And here again the schematic, there's not so much more to tell. And perhaps it's interesting to tell that I've used this capsule here, but you can also use other electret capsules. They all will work. In general. Pen over somewhat the box with LEDs. The schematic again.